My name is James Michael Sama, and I've partnered with Sexy Confidence to have a very real conversation with you about finding the love that you truly deserve, about raising your standards. Because maybe you struggle to meet the right guys, or the guys that you do get involved with end up being the wrong guys. Listen very carefully to this video. This could be the most important video that you'll ever watch. Because I want to talk to you about using a very powerful system that I've developed to transition your life from dating guys below your standards to finding the one that you truly deserve. I know this all sounds a bit dramatic, but let me tell you this. The person you marry is the most important decision you'll ever make. Get it wrong and lower your standards, and you live a life full of misery. If you get it right, you live a life that you've always wanted and dreamed about. But who am I? I help women with their love lives. I've helped over 36 million people find clarity in their love lives. Helping thousands of people understand what they deserve and going out into the world and accepting nothing less. To find love within themselves. Many of these women are in serious relationships or even married now because of this. And I'm also responsible for breakups. Why is this? Because I've helped countless people uncover the strength within themselves to walk away from negative, toxic relationships. And knowing how to avoid the wrong relationship is just as important as knowing how to find the right one. I've been featured anywhere you can imagine. Bravo, Red Book, Huffington Post, New York Post, CNBC, you name it, I've been there. Here's the reason why. I'm different than everything else that you're gonna see and read out there. I get real with you. I'm gonna be honest. And I will be honest. I used to struggle with all of this myself. I was always the nice guy in high school. I was always the best friend. I never had any dates to any dances. And I was also overweight. I was called ugly. And yes, it does happen to guys too. And it wasn't until after high school when I lost weight and reinvented myself that I gained confidence. Almost too much confidence. I got into the club scene and became the bad boy that everybody talks about and who I'm gonna help you avoid during this series. I learned many things about women that I used to teach to men. And in turn, I learned more about men and about myself. I realized that there's a lack of authenticity in the world and I was always looking for something that I would never find in the places that I was spending my time. I woke up on one Sunday morning, or maybe it was the afternoon, <laughs> and I was by myself. And I realized that I was gonna have to go out all over again the next weekend to find somebody else to talk to and to meet, and who knows. I wanted something with real depth, though, and long-term potential, and I wasn't finding it. You see, I grew up in a traditional family. My parents had been married for decades, and I started seeing a lack of this type of relationships in the world. This is when I started writing my ideas down on how I thought dating relationships should be, just based on my opinions and what I had seen work for others. All this writing and the, these articles started to pick up steam. And when I realized how much positive feedback I was getting and how many people were missing the same thing in their lives that I was missing, people just like you. This is when I decided to team up with Sexy Confidence and create this relationship standard system to help women just like yourself find the love that you truly deserve. We've built an amazing community. And if it wasn't for you, this wouldn't be possible. But I will say, I've created a series of four videos as part of the Relationship Standard series launch, this being number one of them. These are only available for a short period of time and we're gonna take them down soon. And while you're here with me, I do have to tell you the most important thing that I've ever learned is being comfortable and confident in yourself. You will face rejection. We all face rejection. And you cannot tie your self-worth to whether or not somebody else recognizes your value. You have to be confident in the fact that the right person will love everything about you that the wrong people took for granted. And only when you recognize your own self-worth will you be able to pick yourself back up and move forward stronger than before. What you're going to learn over the next week comes down to this one concept. The most important relationship you'll ever have is with yourself. If you raise your own standards, then the right man will rise up to meet them. You follow this system and you'll be able to find the love that you truly deserve, not only externally, but internally within yourself. And now in this first video, what I'm gonna teach you is the five steps to finding the love that you truly deserve. So let's go over into the studio and get started. Now that we're in the studio, I wanna to talk to you about the five steps to finding the love that you truly deserve. The first step is recognizing your own self-worth. That's really the whole premise behind this entire program. There's a quote from the movie, Perks of Being a Wallflower, and it says, we only accept the love we think we deserve. And you can't find it if you don't believe it exists. This is the problem with today's society. It's very hard to find happy, healthy relationships. Most people get into something really quickly, 
and it's like a set of fireworks. It goes off great, and it's beautiful, and it's exciting, and it's fast, and then before you know it, it's over. So it's difficult to really have a perception and a realistic expectation that you can find a long-lasting, healthy relationship. So you can't find it if you don't believe it exists. We need to create the perception in our minds, the true perception in our minds, that it does exist and that men are looking for women like you because you're loving and you're caring and you want to give yourself to somebody. But if you don't think there's anybody out there to give yourself to, then you're never going to be proactive about finding him because you just think you're going to go out there and be playing the lottery and lose all the time and never actually hit the jackpot. You have to understand that you are the jackpot for somebody. Somebody is looking for you, but you'll only find him and he'll only find you if you're out there putting yourself out there, being open and ready to find it. Because the most important relationship you're ever going to have is with yourself. And if that one isn't healthy, then none of your others are going to be. So we need to put in the effort to build the foundation, put in the time and put in the energy to recognize this within yourself. And then, and only then, are you going to be able to bring it to the world. The second thing that we need to pay attention to is letting go of the idea of a perfect relationship. Now, I know I said that there is such a thing as long-term romance and everlasting love or whatever you want to call it, but that doesn't mean that it's perfect. You see, it's one thing to have high standards, and that's what we're talking about this whole time is raising your standards and setting the bar to a certain level and saying, this is only what I'm going to accept, nothing less. And that's the entire point of what we're doing here. But it's another thing to sabotage yourself by being overly picky. A lot of people will read my articles and then they'll say to me, well, I shut this guy down because he didn't do this, he didn't do that, he didn't check number four on the list. That's not what this is about. This is about having guidelines, conceptual standards, things that you say, that bothers me a little bit, I'm not gonna deal with that. But we have to be flexible because nobody's perfect. You are not perfect, I'm not perfect. Anytime somebody comments on any of my articles and asks where guys like me are hiding, I always try to tell them, I'm not a perfect guy. I'm just a guy who's giving my ideas to the world. And there are plenty of men out there who agree with me. But you have to give a little bit of leeway here and there because nobody's gonna check all of the boxes. And you will face challenges. Every single relationship faces challenges, no matter how long people have been together. It's just part of the game. But that's what makes couples stronger together. That's the beauty of it. If everything was perfect all the time, it would be boring. There would be no fun, there would be no excitement. Every time you'd turn around, it would be the same thing over and over and over again, and it would get monotonous. Now, I'm not saying fights are what makes things exciting. I'm not saying that things have to hit rocky ground for you to appreciate them, but these things make you stronger because it helps you build open and honest communication with each other. It helps you really connect on different levels, find out what makes each other tick, find out what bothers your partner, find out what he loves. And then you can adjust yourself accordingly and, and speak his love language. You can speak to him in the way that he's going to re be receptive and he will do the same for you in return. But if he doesn't know what bothers you, if you're not communicating with him, odds are that he's probably not going to be able to change because how is he going to know in the first place? And I think a lot of times if people have this perception in their mind about this perfect relationship or whatever you want to call it, I always give the analogy of it being like a light bulb in a house. If you have a house and your light bulb goes out, you don't sell the house. You just fix the light bulb. And a lot of times these days, that's what people are doing. The light bulb goes out and they sell the house. They give up. They don't want to fight for it. They don't want to commit the time and the energy and the effort to one person. And we're doing this in all different areas of life. We're always looking for the upgrade. We're always waiting for the next phone to come out. We're always looking for the next better paying job. We're not committing to anything in society. Now a lot of those things can help us move our life forward. But in a relationship, we can't build a strong foundation if we're not planning on staying there. What would the point be? The problem is that most people are just in a relationship, if that's what they want to call it, until the next person comes along. They're always looking, they're always searching, they're always scrolling through Facebook and saying, well, she's pretty, he's pretty, he's pretty, whatever it is. This is not a way to build a real solid lasting foundation. But what we need to do is commit to the person that we're with. We need to build that house. And then we need to know that if something breaks, we're gonna fix it. Number three is be willing to take risks. Stop waiting for your Prince Charming. So many people say to me, this sounds great and I'm waiting for him. I'm waiting for him. Still waiting, still waiting. It's been forever. I'm waiting. Stop waiting. Your Prince Charming is not going to randomly knock on your door one day. There's a reason why there's the quote about having to kiss a lot of frogs before you find your prince. You need to get out there and be proactive and take risks. That's what this is all about. It's taking action. The reason why you're part of this launch right now is you're one of the few people who are willing to actually get out there and say, I'm tired of the same thing over and over and over again. I want to take risks. I want to make my life happen. I want to take charge of my own inner happiness and my love life. I'm tired of letting things come to me. I want to go to them and find it. And you need to get out there and put yourself out there in the right situations. And we're going to talk about that in a lot more detail during the next few videos 
after the launch has happened. But for now, you have to understand that you are going to face rejection. This is not easy. Finding happiness, creating the relationship that you want, finding the love that you deserve is not easy. These things have to start from within and they have to radiate out there. But you have to put yourself out there. You have to say, I'm willing to fall on my face every once in a while. Any form of success, this is what happens. Business, life, and relationships. We all get rejected. But building your self-worth is going to help you battle this. Because you're going to understand that if somebody doesn't appreciate you, it doesn't make you any less valuable. That's why this program is about self-worth. Because it's up to you, not to them. Next, stop worrying about timing. You'll never stop being busy. There's never going to be a perfect time. You're never going to magically find more free time in your life. None of us will. But the good news is we all have the same 24 hours in a day. Any person who have, has made something amazing happen in their life, any person who has accomplished something amazing, any person who has found the love and the relationship that we are all out there searching for has had 24 hours in a day. The only difference is how they use them, how much action they took, how proactive they were to get out there and find what they want, create the life they deserve. How are you going to use those 24 hours is a matter of priorities. Where are you going to stack your happiness on your list of priorities? Are you going to get drowned down by work and obligations and different things that are just going to take your emotions and suck them out of you? It's a matter of priorities. You have to put in effort to these things. You have to make it happen. Be proactive and stop bringing your past with you. Yes, this is difficult. We're all affected by our past. We can all get jaded and we can all get discouraged. And I know as well as anybody that when you get into a new relationship, you typically look at the past and say, well, I kind of remember that happening, I kind of remember this happening, and it's difficult to give your all to the next person. But the only way that we can find the right relationship is if we give our all to it, if we put ourselves into it fully. We can't bring our past with us. That's why they call it baggage. We can't be dragging it along. And I know it's such a cliche term to use, your baggage. But check it at the door every time you get into a new relationship, every time you meet somebody new, because this new person is not the old person. We have to understand everyone is different. The next man you meet at the coffee shop or the bookstore or at the bar, who knows where you're going to meet him, is not the guy that you dated the last time. He's not the last five guys that you dated. He's got a different family, a different upbringing, a different set of values, different set of beliefs. Everybody is different. This is exciting because it means every new person is a new beginning. It's a new, unique set of circumstances, but only a set that you're going to find if you put yourself out there and become proactive. You've never experienced this person before. So give them a fair chance. Give the situation a fair chance. And give them the absolute honor of getting to know you. Because it might feel like the next time you're doing this, and I'm doing it again and again and again the next time, but it only takes one time to be the right time. So now that we've talked about these five steps, I want to know from you, what is the most important step that you are committing right now to take to find the love that you truly deserve? Leave a comment below. We have a great, supportive, amazing community. And I want to know right now, what step are you committing to? And this video and the three following are just an introduction to a series I've put together called the Relationship Standard System. We have an early bird list for that. If you're still watching this video because you're ready to take the next step to creating your own happiness, you can enter your email address and find out all the details before anybody else. If you like this, you're gonna love this upcoming series. In the next video you're gonna receive, I'm gonna show you the one thing that is preventing you from finding a happy and healthy relationship. If you haven't entered your email yet, enter it now and you'll receive this video within the next few days. Go to relationshipstandards.com and you'll find all the information that you need. If you have entered your email, then we'll see you there at the next video. Thank you.